Seriously? What happened? So I'm here in my house and I had the plan to give the ZZ plant back to Tara. So I don't know if you remember way back. Actually, and Tara says it's exactly one year ago today that she gave me the ZZ plant. And it was a massive ZZ. She had it for 15 years. And we did a repotting right here. But um, I got this amazing Zamiococcus zamifolia, which is a ZZ plant from my friend Tara, who had actually moved out. She was my neighbor. And this has been growing for her for 15 years. And it's clearly struggling a little bit because it is basically <laughs> growing outside its terracotta girdle right now. And uh, my friend Alan was in town from Mozambique, and this is one of the offshoots that I wanted to give to her back and never got around to it. And now Sonder, my cameraman, is in town. Hi, Sonder. Hey, hello. <laughs> And uh, he has his car, and he actually got one of the ZZ plants for his new place that he moved yes. into. <laughs> and um, and this is going to be for Tara. So she just texted me because we're that's where we're going to head. We're going to head and give her one of these um, ZZ plants back, so she could have that and grow it to a large ZZ plant in another 15 years. And yeah, and she just said it's exactly one year ago today, which is so crazy. So yeah, these seem very new, right? Because I have two, I got one of your uh, plants and it's got two new leaves coming out, but it looks like this this one's, these ones are new as yeah, well. Yeah, this one, this one's the newest, obviously. Oh, okay, it's yeah. just like unfurling right here. And yeah, the ones that are a little bit lighter green, this one looks like I got uh, I got hit because it splays out a little bit and sometimes you walk back past it. But but yeah, the, the lighter green ones are a little bit newer, but this one's doing very well. Um, I'll show you some of the other yeah, ones. Yeah, the other one's doing. Yeah, so this is another one of hers that um, had been propagated. I even pe planted a little peperomia up in, in this one. And um, it looks like yeah, it doesn't look like there's any kind of totally new growth that are that's coming up off of this one. And then here's one back here, which has a bunch of new growth oh, coming yeah. up. So you can see that. These guys are pretty resilient. I mean, you could see when I was doing a repot of it, it has really like thick roots. It has like a thick stem. And then I have another one. I don't think I have any more in here. I think you got the other one. Yeah, there's not, not another one in here. And then this is the other one which this is the strange one for me because um, this is in the darker corner. But I have a story with this ZZ plant. Basically, that one was splayed out and I snapped it by accident when I was walking back and forth and it, and it broke a little bit. And then since it was broke a little bit, it was a little bit too much so I couldn't bandage it. So I ended up cutting it off. And literally the next day later, the plant moved in the entire opposite direction to where it got clipped. And you know these are pretty thick stems, and I had never seen it move that way. And it was moved away from the light, so it was going opposite of the light. And I don't know if you could see these joints right here. Do you see this kind of joint in the ZZ plant? So it moved basically from these joints. So what I learned from that whole experience is that ZZ plant really responded to, uh, you know, being clipped or being cut or being, you know, eaten up, eaten, and yeah. it kind of moved in the other direction in a very uh, quick manner. You know, it wasn't like immediate, but the next day later, it was on completely the other side, and it took probably about two to three weeks for it to fully move back to its regular position. It's wild. It's almost like it got hurt, and it was like. Ah, let me get out of the way. Yeah, let me get out of the way, and it, it moved. It and moved out of the way. Carefully went back. Yeah. To so, its original location. So that was pretty. That was pretty amazing for me. I really wanted to get this easy plant to Tara. It was her, um, you know, home gift <laughs> for moving into a new home. That's how I ended up getting this because she was moving out and she couldn't take her big ZZ plant with her. And mind you, this is like one sixth of it. It was. Uh, it was a, a giant plant, and it was in need for repotting. So hopefully with this one, she could start all over again. I think it's a really good start. It's a healthy looking plant and she could have this um, you know, in her collection. So that's what we're gonna do today. All right. In the back, I guess this should be good. It shouldn't move around too much. 
Just get the stuff out of the way. Yeah. You can move that. Okay, so we have to put her address in. It's funny. If I look in the back mirror, I can see. Oh. I can see the ZZ plant. The rear view mirror, it's called. Right? Yeah. It's all the way at the end of the street. Head south on Union Avenue toward Broadway, then turn left onto Broadway. Oh, what do you do with the camera? I know, it's that's what crooked. I said. It's crooked. Hello. Oh, good. And they're crazy pretenses. What? I thought that was a ticket. Oh my god, no, it was a camera. Here you go. What is this? It's uh, your card that goes with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like a homecoming uh, card. I wanted to make you cookies, but I didn't have time today, so I'm gonna Oh, try. don't even worry about it. It's so funny because like I was like I bought that right when you were having your like home party or yeah, whatever yeah, and I yeah. couldn't come. So it's like, I can't believe when you said it's a year later. It's exactly like, oh a year God. today. It's so perfect. That's so funny. So let me get the, well, let me get it. Oh, it's a big one. It's, it's kind of like, I mean, it, you had a big plant. Oh my God, look at this thing. I didn't think it was that big. I know. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, so this is the, the, the yeah, the bottom. I got it. So, and it has some new growth on it, like right here. I love yeah. when they grow new, guys. Yeah. I'm gonna put this down. Where should I? Just put I? it down. Yeah, okay, just yeah. put it down. Um, it's not even like the biggest one we have, but it was like kind of like nice and full and. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm like, so excited. Some of the other ones were in like really big pots, so that was like a little bit harder to manage. Thank you. Yeah, no, I mean, thank you. I mean, it's your plant. <laughs> I know, but you've been taking really good care of it. Uh, it, it, it is, uh, it's great, but um, I think you'll grow that out in no time. I imagine so, yeah. I was trying to remember how long I had the last one. And I couldn't. You said about 15 years, right? No, I was in that apartment 15 years. Yeah. At least 10. Yeah. 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 Because it was like that big when I got it. It well, was I, a baby. I can't believe it's been a year. When you texted that, I was like, oh. I only realized it today and I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that's so perfect. Oh. It's coming back. How are you faring through all this, too? I'm all right. The yeah. house is great. Yeah. I have good. to have you over at yeah. some point. <laughs> yeah, one, one, one of those days. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm fine. Yeah. But it's starting to wear on me, I think. Yeah. Just like everybody. Yeah, I've been putting, nice. I've been trying to plant um, uh, herbs on my deck in yeah. the back. Yeah. And I, I stare at them every day. <laughs> Can you grow faster? Well, <laughs> I this, need more. This guy's really prolific, as you can yeah, see. Yeah, this so. guy's. This guy, I'm super excited about. I'm gonna put it in the bedroom because I don't have anything in the bedroom. Yeah. Well, you'll have to send me progress updates. And I will like totally. That. Yeah. I'm super. I'm super happy to have it back. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you and thank you and and obviously Sandra has to thank you too because he got a he got a little bit of it. Yeah. And then when I could have plant spots again, I mean, I really want to get cuttings to people as well. Yeah, so yeah. Your, your ZZ plant will go far and wide. Really? Yeah. <laughs> How many did you get out of it? Did you count? Um, I should watch the video again. Well, I there's it. so, I think I got six, okay. but six chunks. And, but each one of those chunks, you could have broken up even yeah, more. Yeah, you just didn't need to. But I just didn't have enough pots. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, <laughs> I had to get like two more big planters in order to be able to put them in. Yeah, because yeah. once you got that out of the roots out, you kind of felt sorry for him because it had so many roots. Yeah, you know, I, you I was. To tease him out. I guess I shouldn't have been surprised, but I was surprised yeah. when I saw the video, yeah. like how <laughs> bad it was. I mean, Alan was manhandling it. It was like there so... was no way to like for me to do that though yeah. at home. No, I don't think I, I mean, ever was, could have. We needed to like roll up the carpets and like get the whole thing, <laughs> you know. So it was. Uh, it was yeah. I was a little bit worried about it afterwards because I was like, "Oh, is it going to take the beating?" But it yeah. really did. Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about is I, in in on Fillmore, I had it in the front window, which was south facing. Yeah. Which had a lot, of, a lot light. of light. Yeah. My bedroom is on the other side. It doesn't north. get a lot of light. I have you I think have it'll my be okay? plants in my All interior over the space, southern window. Yeah. It should be fine. It probably won't grow as much, but yeah. That's almost a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll try it in there anyway, because that's where I want it. So yeah. we'll see. Well, it was really nice seeing you. You too, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And nice meeting you. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. And I'll make you cookies. So we just dropped the ZZ off at Tara's place, and we are going to head over to Saunders soon and see his ZZ plant. Hey 
Hey guys, so you might notice that I am not in my house because I am in the house of Sonder. He actually just moved into a nice new apartment. And I wanted to share with you his ZZ plant. This is your ZZ plant. This is the one that I got you. Yep, and I'm from... really happy with it. And actually, since you gave it to me, uh, these two have come up. Because oh, first wow. I was like, when I was watching that episode of you guys ripping this plant apart, <laughs> I was like, do these guys know what they're doing? Um, because uh, it looked like very violent and I was like really curious if this plant would come to life. But yeah. Actually it did. And it's been really good. Like again, these two are new. Uh, and this one seems also pretty new. Yeah, the they, only... they will darken up a little bit over time. Yeah, the only thing that I've noticed on uh, this one is that at some point I saw a little bit of scale, mm. like these little uh, brown yeah. like shield little brown nubbins little animals. That, yeah on the on the uh, on the leaves yeah I noticed when I was touching it there was some sticky parts oh yeah to and this it. one's been very sticky yeah I don't know what so it's that probably means. the same thing it's the scale and it's probably sucking out some of the juices but you know I shared with you to kind of use a wet paper towel and maybe some soap and just wash it off yeah. um, because sometimes when they're really young they're very clear it's hard to see them so you, yeah, they go from like being transparent yeah. to being a little brown. Yep. Yeah, and exactly. then you see them. But after I got them off, they pretty much disappeared. Mm. But you said that you still saw some on this, this one this leaf right here. Yeah, I still saw some. And th this one's even a little sticky right here. Um, and of course, you have this nice like wool carpet down below. So you'll probably get some wool. But you see this, that little piece right there? Oh, this yeah. little, so this looks like it was just an old scale that, you know, is no longer alive. But they really like to get into the grooves. Like even this one right here, you see that? It's on my fingernail. Yeah, exactly. So, so they're super tiny. Super tiny. They look like they're part of the plant, especially if you have a woody plant, which this is not. It's even harder to see. But I think if you just kind of like take a look at this every month and just wash it off, um, you know, they the leaves tend to get a little... Uh, you know, dusty anyway, so, and they look so nice when they're nice and clean like this. So if you just take a look at it every month, I think it should be fine, and then you could probably get the scale under control. Yeah, and this plant's pretty isolated, so I'm not too worried about it affecting any other plants, because yeah. I don't have as much plants as you do. So. <laughs> exactly. It looks like yeah. you got some kind of, like, little Colin Coe. Maybe that was one of my little Colin Coe's that kind of um, mm, came yeah. up out of there, a little seedling. And it does look like this is slightly compacted, so I think what I'm going to do, you don't have, like, a... Um, it looks like you're gonna get some fungus up in here, which is not no, not a bad thing. So you see this, this oh, little whoa. fungus coming up. What the hell is that? Yeah, this little like sulfur fungus is is not um, unusual, especially. Wait, is this like a whole root? Um, I Look think that might have been. What is this? I think that might have been one of the uh, rhizomes or the tubers of the zizi plant. Yeah. So this one's not. And then a uh, fungus is growing on that. Yeah, root. yeah. I see. Here we go. Look at. See that. And so this is probably not aerated all that well. So you don't have a, a chopstick, do you? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, I'll get a little, maybe you're just fork, and I'm just going okay. to fork a little bit of this planter. And what I'm going to do is just kind of aerate the soils, because what happens is as you start to water, it might compact a little bit. And some of these tubers, you know, it looks like, yeah, they're, they're going right up on that So tuber. how deep to the surface do you do this? Because it almost... Like, what if it damages the roots? Well, exactly. I mean, the roots of the ZZ plant, as you saw when we were really man and woman, woman handling it, it their, their roots are extremely thick. Their tubers are obviously really thick. Now, this one, yeah. you, you know, looks like it's in a bit of decay. So, I mean, although there's a little nubbin, like, look at this little nubbin growing up right oh, here. Wow. So, it might actually... It might and, turn into a... Yeah, and these are just the fruiting bodies of the mycelium. So... I noticed this kind of like yellow white haze, and that's probably all the hypha of the mushroom, which is essentially like a little bit more like the roots of a, of okay. a mushroom. So ideally you take a bunch of chopsticks and just poke in the soil. Yeah, and lightly. You so can that see, the water can go through. Exactly, because what I think is happening is it's just like sitting up on top, and it happens with this type of peaty material. And we used some of the old soil initially that was, yeah. was in this. Yeah, so this gets pre. This gets a lot of light in the morning because well, it's east facing. The other window. thing that's happening too, probably, is the light comes in and Just makes the soil everything. dry yeah. and compacting, and so so this will this will help. And in the fork, I'm not going to go down all the way, but if you get like a chopstick 
if you do takeout or something, since not all the restaurants are open anyway. Um, you know, and this will this will give it a little bit. So when you water it next time, it won't be so compacted and it'll provide a little bit more aeration. Mm -hmm. These guys are pretty sturdy and hardy though, so I don't think yeah. they're gonna have too much of a, an issue. I've been watering maybe like once in two weeks, yeah. and I really give it a ton of water. Yeah. Like, Do you notice the water come down here? Yeah, the whole pot yeah. changes color. Yeah. And yeah you, you can, can still see. see it a little bit still. Yeah, you can. It still hasn't faded away. Yeah. And then if it does overflow, it has this huge basin underneath. Yeah. And these guys are really good at storing water. I mean, you could see thick stems. They have a thicker leaf with this cuticle. And you saw those roots when we took them out yeah, and we were huge. replanting them. They're massive. So these guys will hold on to water very much. I mean, you, you'll want to wait until all of this dries out so this bottom part looks like this part yeah. um, before you probably even water it because these guys are going to be holding on to the onto that water but yeah it looks happy and you got three new ones so yes <laughs> this could be i see this one's yeah brown. that one's starting to go yeah right? so, so i would i would, where that brown part is that will never come back i would just probably clip that off oh yeah um, i have a scissors you want to cut it off yeah we could cut it off and then this could remain yellow like until until this yeah, turns like brown it. you know don't, don't fall worry colors about it. yeah cool oh, fine it looks good. Yeah, thank you so much. It's a really cool plant. Well, thank Tara because it's she... a huge, <laughs> it's a huge uh, piece next to the couch. Yeah, so that works really well. It looks great. It's getting like such great sunlight. It's better here than it was in my place because her zizi plant was so big. It, yeah. I, it, we ended up getting like five or six of them. So, and I was so grateful that we could give them back to her too. Yeah. Hey, awesome. Cool.